Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For an update from the Springbok camp, which came uh, late uh, yesterday and uh, confirms a couple of things about this weekend. A couple of players have exited the, the, the camp for a while, a um, couple of injuries as well as personal reasons, whilst five players have been added to the squad ahead of the Portuguese test this weekend. Offers, we expect to see a different squad being named for the Rugby Championship and probably potentially even a different squad for that will actually travel to Australia as opposed to one which will actually be sort of the, the broader sort of training squad for the Rugby Championship. Um, Ireland series done and dusted. So uh, very much now onto the next step. And what is the next step is the question. For me, uh, the next step is... Um, the rugby championship and winning the rugby championship you know a lot of people talking about the fact that oh now's the time to start building depth and yes it is to a certain degree but i don't think it should be at the expense of, of trying to win the rugby championship so personally i would like to see us send a very strong squad over to australia and get two wins over there come back try and beat new zealand um, twice at least once for example wrap up the rugby championship um, and then we sort of take in the more experimental squad when we go uh, overseas at the end of year tour. Um, so it's going to be interesting to sort of see exactly how the approach that we do take. In terms of the bot cap and uh, what we have out of it. So uh, a press release yesterday was released um, last night, yesterday about four o'clock, saying that Springbok coach Rassi Rasp has called up five players to the squad um, for the closing test. Uh, a 41 squad, man squad now featuring seven uncapped players. Um, I don't think those seven uncapped players will be I mean, I'm, there won't be seven uncapped players off this weekend. We will see new caps, um, I think. So big, the big news is that uh, Franco Moss and Edward van der Merwe have been ruled out with injuries. Massive frustration that for Edward van der Merwe, who I think would have started this weekend. Picked up an injury early on against the Irons and obviously um, back bad enough for him to be ruled out for this weekend. Um, apparently, the extent of their injuries will be confirmed on Monday. I do think Edward van der Merwe will stick around that squad. Obviously, Franco Moss is a player um, that will, will obviously feature for the squad and for me, be very important come at the rugby championship uh damon de lindy was permitted to exit the camp due to personal reasons now the very big news is that capped spring box and alric low and took a tunnel um as well as uncapped um bo uh, box in the form of huon horn um under hugo fenter and ron fenter um who all been part of the alignment camps have joined the current group of players um, including eight of the nine players who released their provincial unions last week to participate in the curry cup um so very exciting um in terms of the plan for this weekend, and by the way, we are going to be putting up a <coughs> a Springbok prediction video, trying to look at sort of what the squad could potentially be. Um, but Rusty Rasmus said it was always part of our planning to expose a few players to top-class international rugby against Portugal in line with our objectives to build squad depth with an eye on the 2027 Rugby World Cup. He said some of the players had a taste of international rugby against Wales at Twickenham, others received an opportunity off the bench against Ireland, and Andrew Hugo Fenter toured with us to London for the Wales Test. So we are delighted with the quality of the players coming through the ranks. Portugal are a quality team, as they showed in the Rugby World Cup last year by defeating Fiji, and we have no doubt they'll want to make a strong statement against us. So although we may mix things up for this test, we'll select the quality team that we have full faith in to get our season back on track. Uh, he then said, the players we plan to release will continue to put in the hard yards to repair the team that will face Portugal, as we generally do with the non-players, which is invaluable in preparing the team as well as possible. Um, speaking about the season and the loss, for example, um, Rashi Rasper said that this is a long and challenging season, and as much as it would have been great to win both matches against Ireland, it's vital that we manage the players well to allow them to regenerate in order to maximize their performance throughout the season. Um, those players will have 10 days off, which means they'll be fresh when they rejoin the squad before the, the rugby championship. Um, you know, obviously, his team against Portugal tomorrow. So, very, very interesting. Um, for example, you know, I, I almost expect to see Ruben van Heeren, um, you know, called up potentially because of the, the injury to um, uh, Frank and Master, which means that, you know, will we then suddenly see Evan Etzebeth, for example, this weekend? Will we potentially see Ruben uh, Fenter at lock, for example, or Ben Jason Dixon at lock, for example. Um, you know, it's Ben Jason Dixon listed as a loose forward, as does Ruan Fenter in the squad, but we know they can potentially play at lock if needs be. Um, so, an interesting to see, I, I think we might see a couple of debuts this weekend. I think at a very minimum, we're going to see a debut from Jan Krobola, as well as a debut for uh, Morning van den Berg, who I believe will be involved. Um, whether we'll see the likes of a Jan Andrew Vessels, for example, or Kuhn Horn does remain to be seen. Which players would you like to be see uh, on that uh, team list when it gets um, released tomorrow? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.